Final exam review problem number one. We have a horizontal block spring system, and we're given a little bit of information about this. We're told the total energy of the system. We are given the maximum displacement, or in other words, the amplitude. It's maximum displacement when it's pulled back to begin with. And we're also told the maximum speed. Uh, part C tells you this maximum speed. Remember, that's the speed that the block has when it passes through the equilibrium point. So we've got those three pieces of information, and we're going to answer a whole bunch of questions about the system. So first question, A. What is the spring constant? Well, we know that at the beginning of the situation, when the spring is pulled all the way back, all of the energy in the system is potential energy. It's spring potential energy. None of it's kinetic. So we can say that the spring potential energy at that initial point, 1 half k a squared, equals that total energy value that uh, we're given in the problem. And so with just a little bit of algebra, you can find the spring constant and you can plug in the numbers that you're given in your homework assignment. Question B, what's the kinetic energy of the system at the equilibrium point? You can do this without any calculation at all. Just a little common sense. When the system passes through the equilibrium point, the spring is not stretched or compressed, so there's no potential energy all of the energy is kinetic. Since energy is conserved, that means the kinetic energy at equilibrium equals that total energy. So the kinetic energy at equilibrium equals the same value of total energy that you were given in the statement of the problem. Part C. If the maximum speed of the block is some number, what is the mass of the block? Well, again, we know this fact that at equilibrium, that kinetic energy equals the total energy. And we also know that the maximum speed occurs at that equilibrium point. So you can say 1 half mv max squared equals that total energy value and solve for uh, m. So m is 2e over v max squared. Part d. What is the speed of the block when the displacement is something? In other words, the block is now somewhere in between its starting point and that equilibrium point. So it's somewhere around here. Um, that means it has a, a combination of potential and kinetic energy. But that combination still equals the total. Oops. It still equals that value e. And we are given this x value, and we know from the rest of the problem the values for k, the values for m, and e, and so we can solve for v at that point. Part E. 
find the kinetic energy of the block at the same point from situation D. Well, that kinetic energy is going to be 1 half mv squared, where you use this value of v that we just found. Find the potential energy stored in the spring at that point. Just plug in your values to that equation. And last one, part G. Suppose the same system is released from rest at uh, some initial position and it loses some amount of energy by the time it reaches the first turning point. So you let it go over here, pass through equilibrium, reaches the turning point, but there's friction so it's lost some energy. So what we do is we use the law of conservation of energy with non-conservative forces. That's where you're going to account for the, the energy that's lost due to friction. And since we're starting and ending at these turnaround points, the kinetic energy in both cases is zero. So we've got one half k times that starting position squared plus the work done by the non-conservative force, that's this energy value that's given in the problem. You need to put a negative sign here. When it says the energy is lost, that means this is a negative value. And 1 half k x final squared. We're going to solve for x final. Uh, a little algebra. And two things to keep in mind when you evaluate this. This value W is negative, so whatever amount of energy that you were given there, make sure you put a negative sign with it. And when you do a square root, there's a plus answer and a minus answer. We'll take the, the minus value because we're talking about what happens when you're over here on the left side of the equilibrium point. So take the negative value. All right, uh, just some overall comments about this problem. It asked a lot of questions. Some of the questions required some actual thinking, like part G required some, uh, some thinking. Um, maybe, maybe like D and, and A and B required some thinking. And in some parts were just plug and chug. Um, this problem is we're just trying to be very thorough and describe all of the properties of the system. And this problem is really just an example of the law of conservation of energy. And even though it's in the the unit having to do with vibrational motion, um, you could have analyzed this before we learned anything about simple harmonic motion and vibrating systems, because it really is just conservation of energy that's applied to the system of a, of a spring in a mass. So keep in mind, the total energy is always constant in the absence of uh, non-conservative forces in the absence of external work. And that means that the kinetic energy plus potential energy will equal the total energy. Unless we do have some external force like the, the work done by friction. And in that case, the total energy of the system decreases. But if we know how much work friction does, we can still use or modify it, law of conservation of energy.